Alright, okay, now we're going to move to stretches for the lower body. Now I have Livana again and she's going to be my student and I'm going to bring her through these different stretches. Okay, so first I'm going to ask you to lie on your back, uh, put your head over here and your legs over there. And just lie flat on the, on, the, on the mat and both legs flat. Okay, now with your rope I want you to raise your left leg and put the rope around your left foot. Okay, and hold this position right here. This is position number one. What's happening is there's a lot of stretching right now in this back part of the leg. Now, if you're someone who has lower back issues, I'm going to recommend that you keep this knee bent and keep the foot flat. It relieves tension from the lower back. Okay? But Levana is very fit so she can keep her leg straight flat on the ground. This is it, stretch number one. And now remember to keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. You're using a lot of gravity to, to hold that leg in its position. Okay, so this is very comfortable usually. So I'm gonna recommend you can hold this position for about a minute or longer if it's comfortable. Okay, now, um, once you're done the minute on this leg, you're going to switch to the other leg doing the exact same thing. And now, to save video time, we're not going to do it, but we are going to do a stretch that's similar but has both legs. So you want to bring your right leg up now and put it next to your left leg, also in the rope. So both feet will be in the rope. That's right. Okay, so now you're getting both hamstrings, which is the back part of the leg, both are stretching, remembering always to keep those arms relaxed. And the breathing also should be relaxed. And this one also really relaxed for the lower back. You can stay here for quite a while. I'm giving you a minute as a guideline. Okay, so that's the stretch number one. Stretch number two, please bring your right leg back on the ground. Okay, hold the rope in your left hand raise your right leg and bring your foot onto the upper, the lower part of the thigh. And as a guideline, I'm going to say one third of the leg should be on the outside just to protect your ankle. So move this foot over a tiny bit. So one third of the leg on this side, two thirds of the leg on this side. Okay, now if you like right now, you can grab the rope again in both hands just to keep it relaxed. And what's happening is Stretching is happening also here and here in the glute. Uh, that's the bum muscle, the glute area, and the outside of the leg. And this is it. As you become more flexible, or if you are already more flexible, you can bend this knee a bit closer, bringing both legs closer to the chest. But if you feel the stretch already where you are, just stay there. The most important thing with this one is that this leg is not straight because if it is, there's a lot of pressure right here and it's really easy to damage this part of the knee. So keep this knee bent all the time. Okay, another guideline as before, you can stay in this stretch for about a minute or longer if you find it comfortable. All right, so that's the second stretch. Uh, the third stretch, uh, take the rope again in your left hand, re release your leg. Okay, now um, the right leg will be straight on the ground. Okay, this arm can be perpendicular to the body. And you're just going to lower that left leg to the outside, trying to control the movement. Don't let the leg just fall down. And so she's going to go as wide as is comfortable. And now the stretch is happening in the inside of the leg. And what I like to do, I like to put this hand sometimes on this hip to remind myself to keep this part of the hip on the ground. Now this stretch is a bit more intense, so a minute might be too long. Now there's two ways to raise your leg. The easiest way is to bend this knee and then bring the leg up. That's the easiest way. So that was stretch number three. Now, stretch number four, I'd like you to bend your right leg, put your foot flat on the ground, and I'd like you to lift your hips 
and move them about five centimeters to the left. Okay, now straighten that leg again. Now take the rope in your right hand. Your left arm can be perpendicular. And you're gonna lower this leg to the right side, giving your body a great twist. Great for the legs, great for the hips, also great for the spine. Now the important thing right here is that this shoulder stays flat on the ground. So try to keep relaxed with your breathing. If you feel any pain at any moment during these stretches, release on the stretch. So about 30 seconds is good for this stretch. Same as the third stretch, to lift your leg back up, you can do it with the leg straight or much easier. Bend that knee and then bring the leg back up. Now when you're doing both sides, you're going to want to move the hips back to the neutral center position. And then when you do the other leg, you're going to move the hips towards the other side. Okay, so that's the fourth stretch. Now there's one last stretch I want to show you. If you happen to have two, two ropes, both legs are going to be in the air. Okay, you're going to try and loop both feet around the ropes. Kind of tricky to do, but there you go. Yeah, that's it. And I like to call this a straddle stretch. So you're just going to open those legs up, letting gravity bring the legs down, and using the ropes to hold your legs in position. And you can see that even though this is her first time doing these stretches, she's very flexible from her martial arts training. Just remember, keep those shoulders relaxed. Keep the breathing relaxed and hold this position for about 30 seconds or longer if you're comfortable. And the same as the previous two stretches, you can bring your legs up straight or it's much easier I find. Bend the knees a little bit and then bring the legs back up. And relax. Great. Thank you so much, Luara. So those are the stretches for the lower body. Okay. Now, I want to show you, um, this rope is also good to help you with certain yoga positions, okay? So, I'm going to take one, and you take one here, you can take this one, and we'll do this together. This is uh, a balanced position in yoga, so let's stand up again, okay, let's stand up. And to keep this uh, so that we have space, you use your right leg, I'll use my left leg. Okay, so take the rope, put it around your right foot, and take the rope in your right hand, put your left hand on your hip, straighten your leg, and then bring it upside. Now without getting into the specifics, uh, make sure you try and keep your body straight up. If you start leaning, then you're going to take away all the work that can happen in this area right here. And I can feel these muscles working tremendously. Okay, and then bring your leg up front, bend the knee, release the rope, and your leg comes down. Okay? Thank you so much, Levana. Thank you. You're a wonderful student. So that's the series of stretches for ropes I wanted to show you. Uh, thanks very much for your attention, and I sincerely hope this helps you with your life. Thank you. All right, welcome back to the fitness rope. And this rope is great for so many reasons. And I sincerely believe if you do these stretches at least once a week, it will improve your life. This rope I've had for about 10 years and it looks still almost brand new. I travel with it wherever I go, very lightweight and very easy to bring with you to the gym, even to the beach or to the park. And uh, the cost is about $10. So for $10, you can have this tool in your gym bag, in your suitcase, wherever you go, and you can do these stretches wherever you are.